I actually promised myself I was never ever going to play this game again, but uh, it keeps taunting me. It's um, it's been set in my box of games, and every time I look over there, it's uh, it, it's there. Peter Beardsley's international football. I should really bury it. Um, there's the receipt. I actually bought it on the 30th of August 1988, and the last time I played it was 30th of August 1988. It's that bad. Now look at that bold claim on the back. The best piece of soccer action this side of match of the day. What a load of crap. This is a 1988 release from uh, Grand Slam, and it's endorsed by Peter Beardsley. And you get this little gumpf card in it that says uh, all about that year's impending European Championships. Could Peter inspire England to come home European champions? No. If, like me, you can remember the 1988 European Championships, we bombed spectacularly. Anyway, into the game, and there's some good uh, music on it, and anyway, that's enough of the redeeming features, let's just, uh, in fact, that's the only redeeming feature, is the music. This game is possibly one of the worst games in my collection, definitely one of the worst football games I've ever played. I'd probably say it ties with World Cup, not, I won't say World Cup Carnival, because that was just World Cup with loads of bits and pieces shoved in the box. But um, I can never make my mind up. Now, 1988, uh, remember the year, so in 1987 and before, we've already had Match Day, Match Day 2, International Match Day. 1989, I think it was, we got uh, Emily Hughes. So the Spectrum was capable of, you know, some great football games. Just look at this. This is like 200 aside, jerky scrolling. Uh, it's just all over the place, and, you know, it's... The control, the keyboard controls are really, really strange. They can't be redefined. Uh, Z, X, left and right, OK, up and down, and space to fire. Now, to me, um, the keys on the left-hand side were always the up and down keys, not the left and right. Uh, so that's a royal embuggerance in this game. Now, it doesn't play a good game of football at all. Um, you know, just look, the graphics are all full. There's, there's just no no qualities in this game at all you can just literally dance through the play the, the other team and when you get near your goalkeeper you take control of your goalkeeper before you've actually got him in sight so if you're trying to run up and down with the player behind that means as soon as it switches to your goalkeeper he's going to keep doing that and the game just ends you, you know that you your opponent just ends up with an open bloody goal and it's just crap um really really not worth playing now i I don't, like I've said before, I don't like being um, unkind to uh, games. I can't program at all to save my life. But, you know, let's be sort of realistic about this. I, I think I'm entitled to um, voice my displeasure when it's a game I've actually paid money out for, regardless of the fact that it was 30 years ago. You know, it's, it's just horrendous. I mean, just look at it. It's... You know, there's there's hardly any AI to speak of, and I'm going to hark back to Match Day Two, uh, the gameplay video that I did just a couple of weeks back, I think it was, and that had its diamond deflection system. It had headers. It had back heels. It had everything. This just has none of those features, and it has the has the the goal on the the back of the box to say it's the best piece of soccer action. I'm sorry, it's not. It's a long way off being the best piece of soccer action. Um, now, Peter Beardsley was one of the best sort of player, English players of the the uh, mid to late eighties. Um, you know the the sort of classic uh, Liverpool teams um, from that uh, that time that we we sort of remember. And for him to have, you know, had a game like this uh, associated to him is 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 not good. Um, anyway, I'm gonna. Stop the waffle, because I can't think of anything else to say. I think I've already said that the game is crap, and I hope that you can see for yourselves just by uh, watching the remainder of this video. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weekends. Thanks ever so much for your support. If you like the video of the crap game, then please hit the thumbs up button, etc. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.